Yeah. Start with the first one. First one, this is a, a aircraft. We buy the aircraft usually. We replace everything inside the brain, the communication. This is a missile that developed in Israel, also in the Israel Defense Price. It's going to the target with no GPS, because GPS won't exist in war. It will be jammed. It has a special eyes sensor. You watch the ground and compare satellite photo in real time with all the way to the target uh, from the ground, like I'm going home. Turn or left or right near the grocery store. This is one very sophisticated image processing. In the robotics, we are leading the world in uh, unmanned area vehicle, drone, so I won't go to that, it's well known. Going to another area which is in now is the tunnel, underground, underground tunnel. This is underground tunnel from the eye of a robot that scan, that search the tunnel, map the tunnel in 3D, three-dimensional with beams of laser, very accurately, autonomously, that the forces can come inside after that, can know what to do, either the forces or the robots. Another example, you, we all know, and we, is it the newspaper, that we are, uh, have the digital army already in place. Every fi we fight in digital world. Sorry, it's this. Digital world, which means everything is in iPad, iPhone, soldiers go inside, from under go inside Gaza or Lebanon with this, and you have everything on it, maps, orders, who's shooting at you. Now we're moving to 3D, three-dimensional fighting. This is Gaza in, Gaza in 3D. On Gaza we see the, in the resolution of, of, of a window, and this is our drone, UAV, where you're looking at, and this is the video of the UAV. Everything is controlled, so the commander can manage the battle very good uh, and track what he wants to track, and it's Gaza, it's not Tel Aviv, it's very dense uh, environment. A new machine, machine is a sophisticated camera, uh, that you can Pluto either in UAV, on drone, or either in an aircraft, and control an area. Control a city or control an area. The city is all the time, every meter is recorded in real time. Of course, you can open video or control the, the city. Either it's Gaza or Tel Aviv, by the way, for commercial use. And I give you some, one example. If you have some, uh, some alert that something is going on, let us say a bomb, you open immediately the video because you record all the city, I open a video, playback, in a matter of second, playback, what's happened? In this case, uh, uh, there's a bomb, terrorists put a bomb, aim to stop a car, kidnap from a car a soldier or a civilian, so we, tr we can track everything. You see the bad guys taking the, the soldier, getting to getaway cars, we track the car, we know everything. Of course, it's good also to prevent crime. Robotics. We're going now, uh, I'm not in the business, I'm a private company, but they are now going to, to urban fighting, fighting in the cities, in Gaza, in Lebanon. So a few kind of small robot, this robot can, cl can climb stairs, uh, have a uh, video, send the picture back, and uh, uh, either there are uh, tunnel in the, in the room, or other there are uh, terrorists in the room, so the forces can prepare. Going to the more bigger robots, this is a robot that's patrolling along Gaza instead of soldiers, driving along. See the fence, have a lot of sensors on board, send all the data uh, backward, but many things are done uh, autonomous in the future. Of course, they will put a weapon on him, so he can also conduct a fight to stop the terrorists coming to Israel. And ending, of course, with, uh, with the naval. This is unmanned ship that have everything on board, from speaker to warn the suspicious ship, com suspicious ship coming to our shore or with terrorists or with explosives that want to explode near our uh, new gas, uh, gas installation in the sea or near our, our uh, ship, or even come to our border and create terror attack. Equipped with everything, night, day, lasers, and also equipped with weapons. You see the weapon here? And this ship specifically are already sunk few uh, enemy uh, ship. Now we'll dive to Iron Dome, of course. Uh, there's a lot to, to learn from the process. I won't go to the process, I go to the system itself. I, but probably all know that when I launched the business in 2004-05, I, I was then nominated to be the head of research and development. Uh, everybody objected to the idea from three reasons. One, think that it can, it cannot be possible from science point of view, technology point of view. People think it cannot be possible. Even the industry around the world, and of course the government, this is one. The other, they didn't focus the, the future threat. It will go to strategic level, thousands of rockets or hundreds of thousands of rockets. And the third reason, of course, is a huge, the fourth is a huge product. We take 15 years, 20 years, billions of dollars, and nothing will get out of this. Somehow I launch it with uh, some uh, non-standard non government uh, approach. 
uh, launch it with authorization, without authorization, and uh, we launch it. Uh, the threat now is clear to everyone. A rocket can be easily launched, uh, improvised. You put launch, hard, very hard to detect and prevent. They're also becoming more and more sophisticated. They are uh, smart. This is a commercial truck, civilian truck. They're hiding the multi multiple launcher in the truck. You close it, of course, uh, it's also closed here, and you cannot see a thing because they know we are controlling from the air uh, most of the time what is going on, what you can see. Another uh, idea that they have, that they have uh, underground uh, bunker or shelters, so the launchers, multiple launchers are inside, they open, even it's below the trees, so you cannot even think of detecting it. You close it, you close it, open, shoot, and close again, very hard to detect, and it is a drawing from, from underground uh, launch. So you one movie, which is very nice from Lebanon to war, also learning. This is an urban area in Lebanon. They were shooting at us from a building, five-story building, from the fourth floor, for one of the apartment. So what, what we can do? To take down the building by F-16 is okay, easy to do, but there are civilians in the first, second, third floor, so Israeli won't, uh, won't do it. Send ground forces is... 10 kilometers away, not relevant, not in timeline. In this case, we solved the problem by specific uh, technology that go through the window, but uh, uh, they are very sophisticated in learning, so this is the, uh, there. Rockets can be from improvised to more deadly one. This is a, a 20 to 40 kilometer range. Uh, of course, hit uh, Ashkelon, Ashdod. This is 40, 45 kilometer range, Iranian, Syrian made, Fajr 3, we call it, very deadly weapon. And this is Fajr 5, was shot at Tel Aviv, uh, with very massive uh, uh, destroy power because they have a lot of expo explosive inside. And of course, they have longer ranges uh, than that. We'll show you some of the, of the movie that summarize the threat on Israel. In recent years, thousands of Qassam and Grant rockets have been fired upon Israel from the Gaza Strip. Hamas upgraded its arsenal by acquiring Iranian-made Fajr 5 rockets. The Fajr's 90-kilogram warhead stands as Hamas's largest and most lethal threat. Within its range of 75 kilometers lies the largest population center in Israel, the Tel Aviv metropolitan area. Palestinian militants firing more than 70 rockets into the Jewish state. Israeli leaders have said they will not tolerate the increasing stream of attacks emanating from the Gaza Strip. The underground launcher, they open, shooting a massive firepower, and close again. So this is more or less the, the threat. Uh, we have all across Israel also think that want Israel defend price. Eyes that watch what is going on in the other side. Eyes are sensors, okay, various kind of sensors. This is Haifa, by the way. This is the border with Lebanon. All the red dots is the place they were shooting from in uh, Lebanon too. All the blue dots, well, they fall in Israel, fell in Israel. We track everything, everything is known. We, is, we, we have used this that database, of course, to uh, develop the Iron Dome. Not just this, but also this. The same with Gaza, this is Gaza. This is the border with Gaza, red where they are shooting from, blue uh, where they land. By the way, the, the, the development was done uh, only in three years, which is a record time. Three years from drawing boards, from ideas that have to be invented, to operational system, in 5% uh, of any other uh, s uh, um, similar missile, 5% in the price. There's not just a missile, but similar missile air to air. And uh, but between top performances, number one performances in the world, nothing exists like this. This is thanks, by the way, not to me. It was three, 400 people working uh, three years in a row, 24 seven. You can see 20, 25 years old, uh, young uh, people from the university, bright, ladies and men, working together with 70, 7, 7 zero, uh, people that we call from the pension. Uh, because the expert in some area working together, team, shoulder by shoulder, no hierarchy, no, uh, no who is senior, working to the, to the target, barely sleeping uh, for three years. I won't go to the concept of Israel, but it's part of the concept of, of Israel of uh, starting with Iron Dome, it's not point defense, you see one battery is uh, protecting Tel Aviv. We develop 
more longer range uh, machine to, uh, for interception, and we have the two Arrow. Arrow uh, 2 is operational, again, ballistic missile from Iraq. Iraq was Iraq, now Iran. Arrow 3, we are developing the next generation. The interception <coughs> from Iran will be in space. Why in space? Because we want to deal with the, if they will have, and if we decide to shoot, nuclear weapon from Iran. So better to intercept it far away from Israel. Not nice to intercept a nuclear weapon above Israel. And we have time. Weapon from Iran, 10, 15 minutes. We have time to shoot again, shoot again, shoot again. We want to go to 100% success rate because, again, not very nice to have a nuclear weapon explode in Tel Aviv. Well, why the Iron Dome? <coughs> one, one of the reasons, there are many reasons, seems to everybody uh, when we start, non-project, non, uh, non cannot be done from science point of view. Again, everybody object. I think it can be, can be done, but it could be done, so I launch it, but I was the only one back then, and later, uh, of course, uh, people starting to support. Running number one is less than 10 meters per second, very fast, but not uh, a, a big thing. Baseball is 45 meters per second velocity, tennis is 60 meters per, per second. I will translate it to kilometer per hour, it's around 250 kilometer per hour. The ball, of course, not the player. Bullet from a gun is around 1,500 1, uh, kilometer per hour. And rockets, even not the fastest one, Translate to you is about 2,500 kilometers per hour, very fast, and the Iron Dome also coming very fast. So all the game is around 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 kilometers per hour, very, very fast, and very, very close, okay? So all the game, end game is less than second, and you have to do everything. Detect, explode, uh, uh, calculate, uh, many algorithms to run, hardware, software, to do everything in, uh, in real time. The system was developed my decision was to develop the system from the eye of the civilian, not the army. Army, regular army development would have said, okay, we have to defend army ca camp, we can hit the rocket, deviate it 200 meters away, we are okay, army camp is protected, don't have to be high percentage, 60 is also okay because they have shelters, they obey the rules, uh, although very complicated to achieve, but I said no, we have to, uh, uh, I cannot hit the target uh, and it will land instead of uh, in, in this place, in Ganeata Ucha, in Dizagov Street, I did nothing. Some, someone else will get killed. So you have to explode the, 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 the missile in the air. This is a technology, by the way. It's how to transfer the energy. This is one. And I have to protect a city. Not a point. Tel Aviv, Beersheva. And also, uh, there's more... Uh, and, uh, and the, the civilian doesn't care what hit him. It's a Fajr, Kassam, these rockets have to be generic. And another technique we deploy in the system, I will show you by example, real example. This is a real record of shooting from Gaza. This is Gaza. This is the border in the south of Israel. And this is Ashkelon. We have all refinery in Ashkelon. Here, they were shooting four rockets, the, the color one, in order to blow the oil refinery in Ashkelon. Very big damage to the people and also to the installation. Arondom is the black one. Arondom knows immediately somehow that only three of them will hit the target or the protected zone. So automatically, three Iron Dome is being launched. Each one is going to his own friend and uh, uh, blow him. And we ignore the fourth one, which is going to fall into the sea. We save money and less noise in the air. Aircraft, UAV in the air, less noise. Turn out to be very successful. How the system is working, in a nutshell, you have uh, it's not, not exactly like a computer game, it's much more than that, but you draw on screen, or in 3D or 2D screen, what you want to, what you want to, what you want to protect. You want to protect Beersheba, you draw some shape around Beersheba or Tel Aviv. System tells you automatically where to put the launchers, launchers, the one that launch a missile, when to put the, where to put the sensor, this is a radar, transmit uh, RF to the air, radio frequency to the air, we have more sensors. Of course, the, the brain of the system, when the people are sitting here, is you can put it anywhere and some optimization has been done you press a button the system starts to work automatically the sensor scan the sky detect that the bad guys are shooting a rocket or missile immediately uh, the impact point is being calculated if it's out of the protected zone we ignore let them fall into uh, open in the open area if it's going to fall into this uh, protected area urban city Automatically, uh, the right launcher has been, uh, been chosen, the right missile has been chosen, and the exact point where to launch has been chosen. 
This, the missile is going away. It's very sophisticated missile with his own eyes, own sensors, own brain, and he do what he want in order to uh, destroy the target. Nobody tells him from ground what to do. He have full autonomously to de to distract the target. I will show you some uh, nice video of this. We call it selective interception. We put cameras aside, night camera aside, IR camera, infrared camera, and we picture. You see here three rockets coming. Aaron Dom knows immediately that the middle one is, is going to fall into the sea or open area. So Aaron Dom launched only two, very fast one. The first one going to his friend, explode. The second one knows he shouldn't hit this because he's going to fall into the sea. So he bypass it and hit the right one. Very tough to do, and Salvot is even more tougher to do. Now I will show you some, some uh, three or four uh, 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 movies. The last movie from the official IPV. This is Iron Dome Pictures. This is the launcher. The radar, this is the people are sitting inside. By the way, the system is uh, can be fully automatic, you just see that everything is, is done by the system, launch detection, it can be half automatic, but, uh, everything is automatic, but the system can the operator first now. Now I think we go to the web links, to the YouTube. After people gain trust in the system, which is not advisable, but they first go to shelter, like uh, the recommendation. After they see the aerodrome is working very good, instead of going to the shelter, they went out to the balcony with the handphone or iPhone. Took very good pictures, much, much better picture than the official video of the Israel Minister of Defense. So I scanned the YouTube, I download a few of them, I will show you some of them. This is the battery, this is not battery, it's only the launcher near uh, Ashkelon, even 100 meters from one of my ex-officer's house. I don't know, detecting immediately with the brain and the sensor what is going on, choose the right launcher, the missile has been launched, this is the Arundel missile. If the missile decides to go back to Israel, autonomously back to Israel, dive in, into the ground, into Ashkelon, that is going to hit Ashkelon, and suddenly do a, a massive fast maneuvering. We'll see it in a second. We'll catch the, the incoming rockets from down. we we'll see the explosion here in a second. It's not disappearing, just close the engine. Why did it? Even it's hard to me sometimes to explain what we, we, we have done. I have a very smart brain, the missile itself, smart sensors, maneuvering, all the technology. He do what he want in order to protect the city, city and ensure that he's going to explode the missile in the air. So you know exactly how to come. By the way, many of the algorithm uh, on ground and on air we take from various uh, 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 dimension from the human body, of course, from the brain, and also from genetic algorithms. We use it because some optimization have to be good and quick. So another, uh, another example. <coughs> they take, of course, credit because it's YouTube. This is, again, is interception of two missiles above Ashkelon at night. <laughs> you will see here the second Iron Dome. The first Iron Dome is on, already here. Last his friend, and the second is going down to the city again, his decision, and then do even more no massive maneuvering to catch the missile from down, from the uh, bottom. Now going to the other side, Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv, in 2012, was another conflict, by the way, they shoot uh, 1,500 rockets uh, on us. We have only four batteries in the south. Suddenly, they start to shoot at Tel Aviv. So the first mission I land uh, opposite the uh, hotels in Tel Aviv in the sea. I know because one of my, uh, few of my colleagues were sitting at the lounge and down Tel Aviv, suddenly they saw missile, they were from abroad. Missile land 100 meters from them in the sea. Of course, their hotel was empty after that. But we improvised in one night another battery, very good. We put it on Tel Aviv. We didn't have time to make a coffee. We intercepted the second missile on Tel Aviv, deadly missile. So you see the reaction, again, taken from iPhone, someone iPhone, from civilian. You see the reaction, they stopped the Valigo. You know, Tel Aviv is 24 7 city, bar, bars, parties. They are not used to uh, 
this action to stay some of them are thinking they have more time of course some going to the parking lot some going to the shelter some decide to hide near the, the <coughs> wall in the promenade of Tel Aviv even near the rental bike project of Tel Aviv uh, city the green bike bike and I bring this picture not because of show the difference the uh, anthropological difference between south and, uh, and uh, Tel Aviv because the one who took it managed to uh, photo the interception here above Jaffa or Rishon, I think Jaffa here you can okay, hear the people of course are very happy by the way in the development of Iron Dome we change the rules of project management and high tech management and high risk management startup. It's like taking 15 startups with hardware. Okay, like each one is electric cars, batteries, not just application in iPhone, which is very important, but it's not the case. And all have to work 100% success and finish in three years and all have to, have to work together. I count about 15. Very risky, much higher risk than the that the pre-seed money of the commercial market if we're very high risk we develop almost everything from scratch in three years so we change of course the project management uh, work from technology management and management management how to do it how to do robust design how to do it fast how to be how to suc will be success in the field in the first uh, we put it in 2011 first time you put it in the field 100 percent interception we intercept about eight rockets how to do it is a uh, it's not what is written in the project management book. We did opposite in many ways. Before now, I go to the be before I go to the best YouTube, I remind you what happened before Iron Dome in Israel. This is a festival in the south of kids. <laughs> He was telling about the party. We have only 15 seconds to find the shelter. That is very close to the Gaza. I'll show you another movie which is a totally different behavior. This was the best, by the way, movie I think ever exists from the YouTube. We call it Iron Dome Wedding. It was done at the wedding in the show. Like uh, fireworks for the wedding, a little bit expensive, but they are not paying. So, the, so I think this concludes my presentation. Thank you very much.